Hi, in this video we are going to create a solid model of Shifter 4 in Katia V5. Let us start from the top plane, XY plane. Take circle command and draw three circles. Draw one circle at the center and other two circles at random place. Now keep the dimensions. Diameter of the fork end is 2. So we are going to keep the diameter as 2 for both the circles and the center circle diameter is 4. After giving the diameters, now we have to draw two axis lines. One axis line from the center y axis is at 15 degree and the other axis line is at 70 degree on the right side. So draw the axis lines as I'm doing. Now we have to make the center of the two circles coincident to the axis line. After making it coincident, we have to give the distance between the center of the circles as per our diagram. Now the one of the circle, the top circle, left side circle is at a distance of 6 inches and the right side circle is at a distance of 5. As you can see now, our three circles are fully defined. Now we have to draw the three outer circles, the outline of the shifter fork. Take circle command. Draw two circles on the outside. And the third circle in the middle of the fork end and center of the fork, shifter fork, so that we can make it tangent from internally. Now keep the diameters, the radius is 5 and the radius of the right side circle is 3.75 and the last circle diameter is 6.75. Now start giving the tangency relationship. The bigger circle should be tangent from inner side and the outer two circles give tangency from outside. After giving the tangency we have to trim these circles so they can make the arc and we can see the full drawing of shifter fork. Use quick trim to command and trim all the extra lines and make sure you also trim the inside lines as well so we can get the full outline of shifter fork so that we can pad it. Exit the sketch and pad the sketch up to 0.5 inches as per our diagram. Now we have to sketch on the top face. Select the top face and click on sketch. Take circle command and draw the circles. The two fork end circles and the center circle. Give the diameter of the circles. The diameter of the fork end as 2 and the diameter of the center circle as 4. After giving the diameters, make the circles concentric to the outer arc. We don't have to give the concentricity relationship to the center circle. As you can see, it is already fully defined and is in green color. When you are done giving the radius, exit the sketch and pad our sketch up to 0.5 inches. Now using hole command, we can create a hole at the center of the fork. Use positioning sketch and make the center of the hole concentric to the outer circle. Exit the sketch and keep the hole type as up to next. Click OK. Next step is to make a U shape pocket at fork end. So sketch on the top surface, take elongated hole command and make two elongated holes on the fork end. Just make sure you hold shift key while making the elongated holes so you might not keep the relationship 
automatic relationship between the two elongated holes. Give the distance of the two elongated holes. Make them concentric. Give the angle between the center y axis and the axis of the elongated hole as 15 degree for the left elongated hole and 70 degree for the right elongated hole. Give the length of the elongated hole so that our sketch become fully defined. Just give any random length. Exit the sketch, click on pocket and click OK. Next step is to make 12 holes on the center of the fork. So select the top surface, click on hole command, give the diameter as 3 by 8 and using positioning sketch, keep this hole in between diameters of outer circle diameter and inner circle diameter. So the distance from the outer circle is 0.375 that will keep our hole at the center. Now exit the sketch. Click OK. Now we are going to multiply this hole using circular pattern command. So go to insert tab, select transformation features and select circular pattern. Now select complete crown from the parameter drop down menu. Keep instances as 2 well and make sure to select the object as our hole, the hole which we have to multiply and take the reference as any outer or inner circle. As you can see the pattern of the hole, click OK. Now the circular pattern is created. Now using chamfer command, give the chamfering of 0 0.05 by 45 degree to the top edge of shifter fork center and the fork end. Model of shifter fork is completed now. If you have any doubt or suggestion, you can leave a comment below. I hope you found my video helpful. Thank you for watching. See you guys in my next modeling video.